How you all doing? My favourite people on the internet. It is nice to see you back on this fine Wednesday evening if you're watching it straight away. If not, then whatever day it is, thanks for viewing. Happy whatever time or day. Sun is out. It is hot. I say that, it's probably like 17 degrees, but that's a scorcher considering the winters we have. Um, yeah. Nice to see some sunshine. Always makes everyone a bit happier. But as gas engineers, I find it a bit miserable because the work massively starts to dip off. What does yours do? What do you do in the summer to keep the cash flow going? Or do you just work a really hard winter to subsidise and then take your foot off the gas in the summer? Or do you do bathrooms? I know a lot of people do bathrooms. Yeah, what do you do to keep the work coming in? Put it in the comments. That'd be interesting. A little conversational debate. Coming up, what have we got going on? A few breakdowns on this show. Some old boilers, really old boilers. Some new boilers. And some fixed, some not fixed. you have to see why. So join me at the end and we'll catch up on them. And if I think of anything interesting that's been going on, I'll put it there because I can't off the top of my head now. Go watch. So we're back at the Elna Gabaron. I'll show you. Let's take the case off. Don't know if you remember, that was leaking, so we're switching that over. And uh, PCB needs changing as well. So let's get into it. Firstly, we're gonna isolate the water going into that. Hopefully, anyway. And we've got to drain this tank down. I'm hoping you only have to drain it from the top. Do I pull that PRV or just run the tap? Anyway, this plastic connection now has been replaced with a iron, basically, um, iron adapter. But we'll need, it's just a standard one they've sent. So it will need a little bit of adjustment, a little bit of pipe in between, and then a male, so a female pipe, male, if that makes sense. I'm hoping, because you've got these flexies, there's a bit of adjustment. Hoping there's some adjustment on there. Let's see, shall we? So I've turned the hot water off. Sorry, turned the water off, going into it. Run the tap. Now I'm just undoing this to see whether that has stopped the water. We seem to be good. So when it goes pop. Only a little bit. Let's pop a bucket under there. So we are good. We're going to disconnect this one. Let's get the Versa filter on there to make sure we don't hit none of that. So that's all covered up. And there's no water in it anyway. <laughs> uh, better to be safe than sorry. A right, little drip there. So you should be able just to twist this off now. Yep. see where that there we are just a half inch fit in there so i'll give that a little clean up as well flat top so we can put a washer in there cool so there we are there's a new one in i didn't show that because to be honest quite frankly i don't think you want to see me winding in fittings but yeah that's the new one that's the old one that's taken place of. So I'm hoping this is a bit more solid. I'm gonna turn the water on, then I have to replace the PCB. Let's get the water on first. Here we go. Gotta remember where all the connections go. Dry them all up as well. Some of them are a bit wet. New board. Just got to line up these little prongs. Okay. There we are, all in. Let's get these connectors on.
check that, make sure there's no water leaking. No, we are all good. Let's go pop the power on. So I've replaced the new board, put a new board in. That's still holding, but we still got no power. There is power to it. But it looks like this contact has gone as well. As soon as we push that in, it's all coming on. I'm running there. But as soon as we let go, all goes off. So what can cause that is an overheat strip, but I've tested them both. I'm getting no resistance. Well, open on them, so that's fine. On the bleep test, I had to speak to Elna for this, truth be told, because I do not know. But yeah, they said it's gonna need a new contactor. You can see, I think some water's got into that as well. You can see a little bit of like scale damage on there, which they said can cause it. So unfortunately not. So that was a little bit annoying that after changing those bits and pieces, it didn't work, but my side is done. Electrician is going back with a relay thing. Well, not going back, they've been back and it's all fixed. Also, it was pulling too much ampage voltage. So you can adjust it on there, I guess almost like range rate in a boiler. Um, and yeah, it's all working now, it's all fine. Next one you're gonna see is our old, old boiler probably older than some people that are watching, to be fair. And let's see if we can get it going. I haven't seen one of these in a long time, but I don't mind old boilers like this. They're um, quite fun to get back going again, especially when the person is thinking they're gonna need a new boiler, then you can fix it. So yeah, see what you think. So I've come to this glow worm ultimate. It's not igniting, it is sparking. Let's see if we can see it. So we are getting a bit of a flame, so let's open her up and take a look. So we are cases off. Still just sparking. No pilot coming yet. You can see now we've got a weak flame. So let's take that out and have a look. There's a nut that holds the assembly onto here. And then you unscrew the pilot tube and you unscrew the injector from there. If we look in there, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Give that a clean out just to make sure. Clean that injector out, put it all back together. And now, there we go. All back up and running. Obviously it's quite hard for you to see. Obviously it's quite hard for you to see with the camera. Tiny, tiny little hole on the injectors. Um, but yeah, get a little needle, clean them out and put it all back together and fire it up. So yeah, old boy, but it's nice to see one sometimes. So I've come to this Glowworm Energy and client has reported that it's going to F32 every time. So I've just set the hot water to come on. We'll see what happens. Just pop the case on, waiting for it to lock out. Nothing on toward. Fan's not running. You can hear it going to run. Let's check if we've got power in there. So, tests are live and neutral, and we've got 240 volts. 
clicked out F32. So between the red and blue here, and we're getting our 22 volts DC, which means the board is sending power and it's a new fan. And these are coming up expensive. Very, very expensive. So you may recognize that last one, the glowworm, from the glowworm strip service we done and filmed and put up here. Uh, same boiler, exact same one. Someone before was complaining about the fact that it was in a compartment outside. It's weather protected. They quoted some kind of regulation. It's in the comments on that video. I don't know, never seen or heard of anything like that to me. And also I'm not sure why I would be liable for it. They was asking me about that, but I didn't install it, just servicing it. Anyway, if anyone's got any information or can shed any light, feel free to drop that in the comments. But yeah, they opted for a glow um, fixed cost visit I told them about to be fair because I'm trying to be honest and reliable with the customers and fans massively expensive Wolseley I got good terms at Wolseley and Wolseley were quoting six something um including that and city plumbing it was three five five plus that so still a massive cost to the customer but I would like it's not gonna look good is it if you quote them go out fix it and then they find out glow and do a fixed cost repair so although manufacturers repairs aren't often cheaper on big things like that sometimes they can be um yeah let me know what you would have done whether you would tell the customer about that or not or yeah but it's recently been strip service anyway also quite interesting to know what software people use i currently use gas engineer software they're coming with a few updates and whatnot there's some others I've seen, but also be interested to see what you use, how beneficial you find it, the benefits and not benefits, because um, I may change. I probably won't because it's a lot of hassle, but I don't think we should be stuck into things just because it's a hassle changing. So yeah, if anyone's got any good ideas for a decent priced software, sell it to me. Go and have a look at Gas Engineer Software's new bits they're putting out as well. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm rambling now. So subscribe and come back next week. Comments, let's get some conversation going. Thanks.